Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. And Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord.
Hey everybody, welcome to the Journey Today Show. I'm Jeremy. I'm Nick. Uh, what's wrong? Why do you look so crazy? Man, there was a storm that just came through. How did you sleep through that? Sleep through what? This huge storm, it just rolled right through the set. It blew everything. You, how did you sleep through that? I don't know, maybe I learned it from Jesus. Learned it from Jesus? Yeah, there's a story where Jesus sleeps through huge you know what why don't we have you guys read it press pause um read the verses on the screen and then come come back to us whenever you're done <sighs> Can you believe that? With just one small command, quiet, be still, Jesus was able to stop that storm in its tracks. And it wasn't just an itty bitty storm with a few clouds, some sprinkles. This was a huge storm with lightning and wind and waves so big, it could sink that ship that they were in. Seriously, some of the disciples were fishermen and they had been in big storms before and weren't afraid. But this storm was a big daddy. It was crazy enough that it had the disciples shaking in their boots. Jeremy, the disciples didn't wear boots. Okay, whatever. It was like a big nasty storm and I'm pretty sure it had them shaking in their sandals, Nick. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that one. <laughs> and you know what? why they were afraid, they had forgotten that Jesus was with them. If they had hung on to Jesus, they could have sailed through the storm with no problem or without falling into fear. You know what? That actually gives me a really good idea for a challenge today. Are you up for something crazy? Nick, you know I'm up for something crazy. Let's do it. All right, Jeremy, we're here today for your challenge. You've talked in the past about your balance. Oh, yeah. And so today we're going to have you walk this wall like a balance beam. But we're also going to have our team throw dodgeballs at you. All right, Jeremy, you ready? Yeah. Let's Whenever you're ready, do it. Jeremy, you really seem to be struggling out there, but we're gonna do it one more time, this time just a little bit differently. You're gonna walk the balance beam, and I'm gonna walk with you to help you through it. You ready? Go. <laughs> Jeremy, you are always such a good sport, and really, you did an amazing job. And to be honest, that challenge shows us what walking in fear is like. It's kind of like you were walking through a storm, not an actual storm, like with lightning and stuff, but a kind of storm where something bad happens in your life. Yeah, a like storm a could be dodgeball storm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a storm could be something like your parents getting divorced, like moving away from your friends, or having your grandma get really sick. And when you get bombarded with problems like that, what happens? Yeah, I, I fell down. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, you fell into fear. But what happened when I walked with you? Uh, you know, I didn't fall, Nick. I was able to walk through it. All the dodgeballs were still coming, but I didn't fall into fear. Totally. That's what Jesus does for us. He walks with us through the storm. Life can bombard you with a lot of difficult problems. But if you hang on to Jesus, you can sail through the storm without ever falling into fear. Whenever there's a storm in our life, 
whenever something is scary or, or something happens that we, we, we don't want to happen, we don't need to be afraid because Jesus is always near us. In fact, that's what our Bible verse is for today. Why don't you open your Bibles with us and take a look at this. It says, you came near when I called to you. You said, do not be afraid. Lamentations 3, 57. Man, I love that verse. Did you know that the Bible tells us to not be afraid more than a hundred times? I think that's because God knows that there are so many things that can cause us fear. Yeah, there really are. And you know what? That makes me think of a question. What kind of storms or problems do you have in your life right now? And how can Jesus help you? Press pause and discuss. I hope you guys had some really good discussion. And just remember, when something bad happens, we can call out to Jesus. He'll come near to us and say, do not be afraid. He'll keep us from falling into fear. Yeah, even if it's a whole lot of dodgeballs. Thanks for joining us today, guys. We'll see you again next week. That's right. Bye, everybody.